So much like the rest of the community, I was pretty blindsided by the announcement that water buffalo are going to be the next species to receive true racks here in Call of the Wild, especially when there's a couple of antler species yet to get them. But regardless, that means it's time to do a water buffalo guide. And this one's going to be a little different because usually I don't talk about shot placement in these, but I do feel like with water buffalo, they can be rather difficult to get full quick kill on. I do want to go over that as well as the usual zone times, locations, all that good stuff for actually where to find them. But as usual, I do want to actually talk about the daylight hour schedule of the water buffalo because I think with any species, it's really important to understand what they're going to do at any given time to really kind of maximize your efficiency in hunting them. And just real quick, for any species, if you want to see their need zone schedule, we have a spreadsheet of that in the Discord, which you can join in the description. So if you want to check that out, that is there. But a water buffalo's daylight hour schedule is from 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. They're going to feed. Then after that, they go drink from 10 to 1300. Then they'll go rest from 1300 to 1700, and they follow that up by feeding again from 1700 to 2100. And as always, the drink time is the one I want to focus on. And if you don't know why, basically you can look at the map, you can see where there's water, and you can basically say there could be a drink zone there. Whereas with feed and rest zones, you can't just look at the map and identify that super quickly. But let's go over the best drink zone places for water buffalo to hunt them. So I want to start down here in the far southeast corner. Now, this lake I have a tent at, so I can fast travel to it quickly, and the reason is, generally on any map, the wind is going to blow from north to south throughout most of the day, and the closest outpost to this lake is actually north of it, so you'd be going with the wind at your back, and you don't really want to do that. Water buffalo have pretty much as good sense as any other animal in the game, and you don't want to be alerting them early, because they will charge you, which I want to get into shooting charging buffalo in just a minute, but... This lake's always been good. I've killed diamonds here. Lots of buffalo. There's always a herd here. I think every map I've ever been on, a herd will drink here. And they also rest right near the same area. So if you're not at the drink time, this can be a really good spot still. And then for our second spot, we're going to move just a little bit north to the lake north of that outpost. So this is a really easy one to check. You can just go to that outpost and go from there. Just work your way up around the lake. I've seen them drinking most of the way around it. So I try to cover as much of the lake as I can when I check it. But again, there's always water buffalo here. Two of my bigger diamonds recently I killed here, so whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But it's another really good spot that I just really like to make sure I check during water buffalo drink time. And these first three spots are actually going to be really quick ones. So they're just lakes that you can pretty much go to in a few minutes and see if there's anything there, see if there's any big ones or rares, and move on. And again, we're sticking pretty much to the east side of the map with this third spot up here a little further north. And another lake with an outpost pretty much right beside it so you can spawn at the outpost, kind of run up here, see what's drinking, and then just move on with your life. But I think at all three of these lakes, now that I'm thinking of it, I have in fact killed diamond water buffalo. So again, whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But it's a really good spot, a really quick one to check. And then we move on to the spot with the most water buffalo and the longest kind of time to actually check it out. And basically, it's the entire east coast over here, and actually going along the north a little bit. Basically, anywhere that water borders the map is good for water buffalo here on Parque Fernando. And if you run the entire thing, you are guaranteed to run into a ton of water buffalo. I'm not sure how many are over here. There's tons of herds. And I just want to give you a little sneak peek of what tomorrow's video is going to be, which uh, happened while I was pretty much shooting buffalo for this video. Oh, no way. That's an albino level 9. Take our time. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. But yeah, basically you want to run this entire east coast. And this is the main reason that I wanted to talk about shot placement with charging buffalo. Because when you're running this entire thing you are going to get charged by buffalo. There's no way you can do it and not. So really, there's three different ways that I like to take out charging buffalo. Number one, if I'm using the 300, two lung shots broadside will do fine. And basically, they kind of pick out your location and then they just go to that. So if they're charging where you are, you can kind of just move. They'll continue charging where you were and then you get that broadside shot. So that's how you do that with the 300. Now, the second one is with the 454. Ironically enough, I got charged by a legendary to do this, but 
it's just got insane penetration. If you use the hardcast bullets, which have 100 penetration, you can basically just shoot into their chest and take out almost every organ. And you can take four shots and get full integrity. So this one, I hit the heart on the second one, so that was good enough. But if you're getting four chest shots, you are going to get full quick kill, no problem with the 454. So not a diamond on that one, unfortunately, 948. But still, just wanted to talk about that with the 454. And the last one's with the bow. So if you don't have the 454 unlocked, you can get a bow really quickly. I actually tried this out as well with the crossbow. It's pretty much as effective, a little slower, but it can work. And the reason I bring the crossbow up, you need zero archery score to get the crossbow and the 600 grain bolts. So I am using 600 grain arrows for this. Two shots get full integrity, and you just want to kind of do the same thing as the 454. Just you want to get in the chest area because, again, the arrows and bolts have insane penetration. You can just go through pretty much the entire buffalo with those, and you just want to get like as many organs as you can and it can take them out really quickly but lastly i do want to take a step back and actually talk about shot placement for just normal standing shots for the water buffalo because i do think they're still relatively difficult and it's worth actually kind of going over what i'm doing so i am using the 300 for all these shots the 338 will work just as well and i mean honestly you can do this with the 30 out six you can do it with smaller weapons i just prefer the 300 for its accuracy but if you don't have it and you don't have any other choices, other weapons will work. But I find, honestly, the best thing to do is to alert them and go for a brain shot. Because that's like the most still you can get their head. Most species, when they drink, have like a very still kind of head and neck area to aim for for a brain shot. Water buffalo don't, so I don't like going for that while they're actually drinking. I prefer if I'm going to take a shot while they're in a zone to go for a heart shot. Now, the more broadside heart shots I've taken, the less confident I've got in it, so I really don't like it. I just can't seem to really pinpoint the location, despite the fact that I got one of my biggest diamond water buffalo with that shot. I just don't love it. So what I prefer, actually, with the heart shots is the frontal one. I just feel like it's a little more consistent. It's a little more obvious where to aim. And it's difficult for me to describe exactly where to aim. It's kind of a thing you figure out just by looking maybe at the kill screen. You look where the heart is, actually, when you can go to the organ view of the animal. And you just want to kind of focus in on that. But for me, if I'm going to take a shot on a diamond, probably I'm trying to go for that brain shot. I just feel the most comfortable going for that. Maybe I'll switch that to frontal heart shots if I keep it up. But both of those are really, really consistent. And with the 300, you don't really have to worry about the gun not being powerful enough. Now, I will say with the heart shot, I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than the 338. The 30-odd 6 could probably do it. I just don't know that I'd really trust it. The 7 mil, maybe. I did used to do it with that. But still, the bigger the gun you use, the better chance that you're actually going to get through to the heart. But I think that is going to do it for our water buffalo guide. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot of locations to go over for this one. There's just a lot of buffalo basically on the east side of the map. And it's as simple as just hitting it during their drink time. So as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to actually get to them and answer as many as I can. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.